G'day guys and welcome back to the Ugly Investor. We're here with a renovation update. It's been about four weeks since we've last come and I wanted to walk you through what the place looks like now. All right, so standing at the main entrance, which we normally come into the place from, they pulled out the kitchen, which is what happened last time. What you will remember was there was a big giant hole that was over here. They've actually patched that up. That's now got plasterboard put in throughout it. They've cut in the holes for where the equipment's going to, going to go, which is great. One of the other things that they've done too is there are a lot of um, like AC units and whatnot that they actually punched holes into the, into the wall. So they've act, the, what they've done, as you can see here and over here, is they've filled that back up. So they've put bricks down and they've painted the bricks to match the outside of the house. So it actually looks pretty consistent. Now, standing back from the entrance way, what you may remember was along this line here was a physical wall that came straight up. Now that wall has been taken down. They've added a structural beam into the roof and I showed you that on the last video, but for those that are new, there it is. So that's the structural beam that runs across there to help support the, the roof. They've added this TV cabinet over here, turning this whole area into now like a, kind of like a living dining area. One of the things that uh, is turning out to be fairly typical for these guys here is this space here, they're actually putting a condenser into it. So what it does for open homes is you fill it up with water and after a little while, it creates a mist effect that kind of like mists up around here and it has like an orange light to it, which creates like a flame style mood effect, um, which looks really, really good. This cabinetry here is gonna be used for the television. I believe it's set for up to 80 inches, which is a pretty decent television. And then you've got a series of DVDs and electronics that can sit underneath there as required. Now, since last time we were here, some major changes have happened. This area here is now fully tiled. They've got the grouting work to do. You just have to excuse the lighting because we don't have lightings in this place yet. But as you can see, this is the laundry space. All of the flooring angles in towards the drain from all sides as it's supposed to do. You've got darker tiles on the bottom and lighter tiles on the walls. That contrast is very popular. Uh, with today's wet area rooms. For those that don't know how the tiling works, what happens is after you've screed the floor, you then apply a tile adhesive to the either the wall or the backside of the tiles. Typically it has prongs in it, so they create lines on the backside of the wall here and then you push the tile into it. What you can see here is spaces. So when you put a tile in, you throw one of these plastic spaces into it, that gives you your consistent tile gap across. And then once the tile glue has dried, you can then apply the grout over the top of it. Now be mindful that most people think all of this is waterproof, it's not. The grout between tile, tiles is actually water absorbent. That's why it's very important to have waterproofing underneath because as soon as you put water on something, that water will go straight through the back of the tiles and track in those gaps where the adhesive is. Now this area here, you might remember, was a wall that came up here it went all the way up. They've knocked that down, turned this into a one large bathroom area. They've pulled this door out. There was a little hallway here and I mentioned it into the last video. They've now screeded the floor ready for the waterproofing, which they've actually done already. So there's a layer of waterproofing that happens underneath the screed and then they've got a layer of waterproofing that happens 
typically over the top of it as well. There's gonna be a 900 by 900 shower here. You recess into the wall to hold your equipment. Toilet over here, general area and vanity. So they've already started the reshaping of this area, which is great. They did add a wall here as well. So this used to be a hallway that ran all the way across. Right? And, there, and there was this wall that came up, came up here, as you can see in, in the ground. So now they're just opening up this area and they had to do those structure elements to it. So they're just changing the way that it looks, opening it up a bit, making it look a lot nicer. Now there isn't much change that's happened at this side of the house. There's the plugging in of where the old AC unit was. They will have to um, put some new plaster water over the top of that to close that out as well. One of the things that they have done is they've actually started installing new doors. Now you can see that there's a whole series of wood chips over the ground here. What they've done is they grabbed a standard door and then they've routed grooves into the door itself, taking all the, that's what the wood chips on the, on the ground are all. So they're the, the routing of the timber door itself. This pattern makes it look a little bit more fancy, a little bit more professional. And the way that these guys typically paint is they'll paint the grooves like a darker color in total contrast to what's gonna be on the surface here. This theme is fairly consistent. So you can see the wood chips over the floor and the freshly grouted timber doors. Now, last time we were here, they have had already put the frames in for the built-in robes for the rooms. So not a lot has happened in that particular space, but that's the same on this side as well. I'll just step out so you can get a better look at what the room looks like. Some of the trades that have been on site in the last three or four weeks have been the electricians, all right? So they're starting to put the lights in, getting all that sorted. Obviously the plumbers and tilers have come in as well because you got a lot of the work happening in the bathroom spaces. And you've got the carpenters who and plasterers who have actually been uh, patching up some of the, the other works. So this is the original main bedroom of the house. Once again, they have routed the door to give it that more professional style look. They've actually added this piece here. I'm unsure exactly what that is going to be used for right now, but what I do know is they're running electrical cables, which you can see underneath here, through the back of it. So it could be a uh, space to store the, uh, the electrics without having to punch into the wall behind it. I'll keep you updated as I get more information on that. This bathroom has come a long way. Last time we were here, there was the waterproofing. You would have seen the two layers. There was the green layer and, this, and the gray layer on top of it. So that's kind of like the horizontal and the vertical orientation with the way that you brush the liquid applied membrane into the actual bathroom area itself. They've had to screed and then add the tiles on. So it's fairly similar to what you would have seen before. We have a series of recesses which can be used for storage predominantly, right? This area here in the corner is where the shower is going to go. You can tell because the drainage is there, but also where the shower recess sits. So, and that's where your um, hot cold tap single handled uh, piece would sit. Basin, and there is a hole in the ground here for the toilet. Built-in robe, this is the original room that hasn't had a lot of work done in it yet, so we'll see what goes on in that space, but they have changed up the doors, as you can see, keeping the theme consistent. Just have to excuse some of the noise, there's some um, gardening work happening on the outside. Now, last time we were here, I may not have mentioned it 
as well as it probably should have. But this particular area stretched all the way from that wall across to this wall here, and it was one big open space. Um, the way that it was used originally with the previous owners was this was like an entertaining area. So you'd come down to this end of the house, you would have your couch and whatnot set up over here, you had a big open window to see what was going on outside, take a look there. Now what they've done is they've added the wall. So this wall has been created and extended all the way across They've put new plasterboard in underneath the framing. They've patched all the nail works. This was the same from last time, so not a lot of work has happened here. But when you come into this room, they've made it a second master bedroom with its own ensuite. So that there has been created as the built-in robe and here is the second master room. Now they've still got to tile this particular bathroom but they've got the floor done and the waterproofing on the walls itself. For those who haven't seen how the recesses work, um, here's a good example of it. So this here is your timber frame. It'll be 45 mil wide, 90 mil deep. And on top of this timber frame will be wet area plasterboard or villa board, depending on what substrate you wish to use. Here it specifically is villa board. I can tell because of the pinkish uh, color that comes from, from that. Now, the way that it works is the frame, the timber frame is uh, you fix your villa board or wet area plasterboard to the outside of it. So you've got one here, 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 here. It's all, it's all fixed, right? Then after that happens, you apply like a bead of silicons throughout all of the recessed edges here, closing that out, wait for that to dry, and then you apply the waterproof membrane on top. The principle of it is that the waterproof membrane, if done correctly, will leave no gap. So they'll just need to be careful of, of this and that you can then use that as a storage space to hold wet objects without the water seeping into the timber frame underneath. Ideally, what you want to do, and it's not done very often, is you actually want to create a small incline on the bottom level here. So any water that runs or hits into this from whatever um, action, whether it be the shower or you're grabbing a, a, a wet object and putting it on top of there, the water naturally wants to run and fall back down and then go towards your drainage pipes where the floors are angled towards that. So just bear that in mind if you're doing a recess of your own. Um, there are little tidbits of information that can make a big difference to how the water um, actually works. For example, if you leave it at horizontal or accidentally put a fall towards the back, you're likely to incur water ingress into it. One of the last and biggest changes that's happened in the last three to four weeks is they've added an outdoor entertaining area down here. So you can see it's quite a large wooden piece. There's a staircase that comes off the balcony, which is over here. And so you can go off the balcony, come down and enjoy the uh, outdoor entertaining area. The intention behind this is a place to have a barbecue, undercover with protection, enjoying the view over, over the background there. So when you go to the windows, you can overlook a beautiful green view that can never be taken away from you and that is valuable. That fact that uh, there cannot be any developments that obstruct the view for you in the future giving you the ability to enjoy a little bit of peace and quiet and enjoy the scenery that's going on. So taking this particular place with that in mind gives you the opportunity to create a standout uh, property in this area that has a intrinsic um, value or attraction point to the next potential seller. So these guys are doing great. The progress is happening quite quickly. 
I think we'll see next time that we come up, there's going to be a lot more of the works done. I imagine the flooring is going to be replaced throughout here as well. So we'll have probably floating floorboards. So yeah, it'll be exciting to see what the next update um, has for this particular place. So thanks for sticking around and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.